this segment, I'm going to be sitting down with Father Bongar and we're going to talk about uh, the Howard Art Center and what that's about and the future of Roman Catholic. So, welcome, Father. Hey, thank you so much for this opportunity. Yeah. So, uh, Mr. Howard is? Absolutely. Uh, Barry and his wife, Elaine Howard, Barry has been on, on our board of advisors for over 25 years. He actually became part of uh, the Roman family, the Roman board, when, way back in the 80s, actually, when we were actually threatened with closure. And he was one of the business people in the city that came forth. He's hired many of our guys and worked with some of our men that graduated. And he was very much so committed to making sure that we were going to turn the school around. He was a part of an initial group of guys that actually pledged that if there was any deficit in the school, they were actually going to pick it up. And so we started getting you know, everything in order. And he did that for several years. As we continue this, right now, take a look at this. This is what exists, right? This is our 1890 building. Yes. And this is Renaissance Hall. And right next to it is our parking lot, mm -hmm. right? Well, that will be phase two, which will be our STEM center. And here's kind of a picture of it here. You can see our, our cafeteria is, is double in size. Yeah. And then we have seven additional classrooms that will surround the, the, that area for engineering, science, and math. Uh, long distance learning labs, all the technology will be interactive uh, walls and floors over that will be here. Right. And then the next phase I mentioned to you, you can see here, it, it goes on top of that, right. right? which will be our 1200 seat field house with the indoor track. And then the intern looks as is a smaller version of what's upstairs now, mm -hmm. a big poster there. So you can see it'll be quite, now we have, we have a school assembly, the whole building can be there. You know, right now we only put half the school in because yeah. we're enrollment. Now, with all this, our goal is really not to increase enrollment. And that's really an important thing because I think one of the things that makes Roman very unique is the fact that our teachers, administrators really know our guys. Mm -hmm. right? So if you start growing larger, what happens is you start getting lost. Exactly. So we really, even though we're, we're obviously doubling the amount of space in our building and our, for our facilities, we're really not uh, looking to increase enrollment. Our great school will never be the same again after today. For we will be better. And it's because of the vision of, of Barry and Elaine Howard. It was back in November of 2015 that the Roman Catholic High School Board of Directors embraced and announced the vision of promise a four-phase, four multi-year plan to provide our students with new and updated facilities, to increase academic rigor, to develop higher level thinking skills, and to become better prepared to take their place in the world. Since we opened in 1890 as the first Dawson High School in the nation, Roman has been an example of an education that works and works well. Our original building was constructed in the 19th century. Our McSherry Annex, the former Philadelphia Moor, was built in the 20th century. And now our newest facility, the Howard Center, was constructed in the 21st century. I need to make this public promise. It will not take another century before our next building is built. This reinvestment, this commitment to Roman Catholic is unparalleled. While Catholic schools in our city and actually throughout the nation are experiencing difficult and challenging times, Roman Catholic is experiencing a new renaissance, a time of substantial growth and expansion. Recognized as an urban Catholic school success story, Roman Catholic embraces the future with passion, zeal, and confidence in its faith-based mission of preparing students for the world of tomorrow. Some of you may recall that just a couple months ago, this space did not look much like this. It was a large center block building with no heat, there's plenty today, cracked walls, and a leaky roof. Well, due to the creative efforts of our resident architect, Mr. Chris Kenny, and his team from Strata, including George Bullen and Murray Kamara, the organizational skills of Bob Rittenhouse and his team from Aegis Property Group, Chris Powell and the construction acumen of Dave Stroud, Ken Soshi, and their team from C. Erickson and Son, this space has been transformed into a modern, state-of-the-art, fine and performing arts center. Special thanks go as well to our members of the Electrical, Carpenter, Sheet Metal, and Plumbers Unions who applied their expertise and skills.
making this facility 